right now it's uh, still just a few minutes fresh so it's just you know there's no point even trying to cut this with a knife so generally what I'll do is about every hour or so come back to your lump here and just uh, try to try to cut off a piece if the piece yields you know where it's still like a very soft dough then you're way way too early this is not going to do you any good to try to align any pieces when this dough is too hard or conversely if you let it dry for days and it's you know hard as a rock then you're you're um, pretty screwed so don't do that come back every hour or so it takes a little bit of diligence yeah I'd say if you want to give me if you want an estimate I'd say maybe two three hours at the most that's when this stuff will be hard but still not quite so raw card that you can't remove it from the pieces later because that's what we'll have to do we'll have to remove the epoxy putty from these pieces later um, and we'll get to that when the time comes but for now what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, we'll pause this and uh, come back in a few hours okay just about two hours has passed since I stopped the uh, video so now what we have is a epoxy putty that, that that is pretty well set now the question is well how long do I want to wait um, about an hour and a half to two hours is about a good number for it uh, basically what you want is you want to be able to slice through the epoxy putty you want to be able to slice the putty fairly easily not too much effort uh, but the, the the piece of putty itself will still hold its shape and uh, when the putty still holds its shape and you can still cut off hunks of it uh, you're pretty much ready to go um, I'll probably say that uh, two hours is about the outside of what you want this thing to be uh, cured um, actually this was ready about half an hour ago but uh, for whatever reason I had other things to do so I had to wait a little longer alright so now that that is done we'll go ahead and release our piece from the confines of the scotch tape alright so what we need to do next is um, see now that we have the alignment the center alignment along this point here not here or here although it looks pretty close uh, but uh, we do have this point so now what we want to do is uh, we want to use this point the separate the gap between these two points as our guide for actually positioning uh, one of our middle pieces this is where we actually do the alignment of all um, all angles of all directions and all uh, axes for a piece up until this point we've only been doing ones and twos as far as alignment keeping things straight but this time we're going to do all of them at once and this is how we're going to do it uh, what you want to do is basically after you've uh, separated the tape is you want to find a piece that you will be able to um, pop free now up until this point you can see that my core has not been filled in other than uh, gluing one corner to the two adjacent pieces and to the center I did not actually fill in the, fill in the uh, cube pieces here um, this is the part where I would recommend that you do so because what well recommend that you do it before this point because now what we what we're going to do is pop one of these pieces free um, I have to be very selective obviously because I want to make sure I don't jar the corners or the the middle edges which I've already attached I don't want to jar them loose but I need to be able to find a part that will be able to pop free pretty easily now let's see okay I made it a little bit harder on myself to find a proper piece to pot but eventually I did now we're going to disassemble this puzzle carefully so as not to um, disturb or um, to knock these edge middle edge pieces loose from what they've been uh, currently what they're currently secured to Uh, now before before we continue much further I'd like to point out that 
uh, one thing you do want to do is make sure that uh, you have marked the two pieces, the two edge pieces that were next to each other. Uh, this is important because this alignment is questionable. Uh, basically, the, see the pieces were together like this, held together with a piece of tape. We don't know for sure that the this edge piece was exactly at the middle point of this um, center cube when it was centered. See, we don't know for sure that that is indeed center. And if we look really closely, actually, we can tell that it's kind of shallow, so it's not centered. So we can't expect this one to be either. However, we are assured that the side that has the piece of tape still, still on it is indeed centered. In order for our two uh, taped, or previously taped together edges to be our uh, guides for perfect centering, what we need to do is we need to place them, see this is the uh, taped faces, we need to place them like so. And by orienting the pieces in such a manner here, what we can do is, for example, uh, take one of these uh, unshaven corners, uncut corners, and essentially do this. If I can get this piece to rotate on me. Oh, here we go. So here's the idea. Our original taped ends, after proper alignment of the pieces, what we have is these two pieces now act as a guide. Since they were both perfectly centered before, uh, this piece here will be perfectly centered when placed like so. Now, how then do we manage to get all the the rest of the alignment, making sure that it's perfectly centered among them? Well, you could use, you know, well, tell you what, we're going to cut, I'll rearrange the cube, show it off, and show you how it is that we're going to do that.